all right so at this point uh, I'm just going to create the lead and uh, the lead did holder yeah so there are many ways that you can you can do that if you want you can uh, bring in uh, a cylinder okay you can see my screencast keys are all things are spreading on okay i think let me bring them off to my right side so i just uh, bring them to like so i think that is okay yeah so i was saying you can create your lead in so many different ways if you want you can create a uh bring in a cylinder then you scale it you scale it to sides and you bring it up there do the modeling okay that's one way so i won't do that i will use the extraction method okay and uh, this is how it works so just hit tab and go to your face mode okay in your face mode you get to select the uh, faces that you want okay so just alt and uh, click i think we we've gone back to our area problem okay so i'm holding my alt and clicking and my loop is not selected so i think let me change my preferences and uh, input here in the three button mouse it let me just save this preferences so that next time i don't encounter that thing okay so alt clicking then i select this whole um loop so we will duplicate this okay and then we will make it a separate object okay so that is shift d and we have duplicated that mesh there and then to make it a separate object from this uh bottle press p on the keyboard and then you say separate by selection okay so once you do that it might deselect and then when you when you look at this uh, this outline over here you will see that there's a new uh, object that has been that has been formed so let us just get out of our uh, edit mode and go to our object mode. Then let us please rename this to lead. Uh, say lead. Okay, that should be okay for now. So we can't see the lead because it's more like it's overlapping. It's overlapping. Yeah, it's overlapping. It's at the same position at that point why we can't see it so let us just move it up a little bit and make something like so and let's scale it out let's scale it out uh shift s and uh, something like that something like that should do yeah so this uh let me just separate this selection menu isolate it with a slash on the keyboard number like let me move my screencast keys a little bit to the left for some way it's a bit. and i think it was just okay where it was over here okay, it was just okay yeah i think it's just okay just there so so when we we separated this um uh, piece of geometry from the the ceiling that we had it copied all the attributes that uh, the, the cylinder had okay so it also copied the modifiers that is the solidify modifier and the subdivision modifier okay so for now i'll just delete these modifiers if you want you can keep them but i'll just delete them so that we can have something new to work with then i'll hit uh, slash on the keyboard again so that we can uh, bring back our our our, our base there okay so uh i would like to make it a little bigger i think so we'll just this and uh, okay right now it is scaling from this people so i want it to be scaling from the object center okay so that is shift s to bring this pie menu and then you bring your case to select it okay so we going to have our case what is our case this is there Let's see. 
okay i know why it's doing this okay it's doing this because it is like i said it is copying the attributes of uh, of this object okay this object was a child of this one so since this part was somewhere there i just copied that so this part um so to change that what we're going to do is this we are going to create a cap on this one let's go to our face mode and then we uh, i think if we are going to create uh we'll select everything there and then hit f on the keyboard we create that okay then we're going to move our case up to up there so shift s and case are to select it and then the case will be brought into the center of uh, that object okay so that should sort out our issue for now and uh, like i said i want to make it a little bit bigger i think it's too tight at this point in time so let's just make it bigger like so if i was to bring it down let's see how it Not too bad. Let's bring it like so. I think let's go to our wireframe, our shift Z, and go to our front view. Okay, and somewhere there. Okay, I think this position is just okay for now. We always be going to add the lead holder. It should be the lead holder or somewhere, somewhere there. We won't create those uh, details like, around details around there. The bottom. It's going to take some time. Okay. And besides, the viewer won't be seeing that stuff, so there's no need for us to model those things. Okay, so I think let's just uh, extend this lead a bit up. So let's go to our vertex mode and select our vertices in G and Z on the keyboard and then move it up a little bit like that. Okay, that should sort out that issue. And I think before we can get down to any more uh, edits to this lead, I think let's create the, the lead holder and if I so shift D on the keyboard and duplicate and Z. Okay, put it up there. Let's go to our solid mode and delete we'll go to our face, delete the stop face and delete. Okay. So I'm assuming by now you have gotten some gotten used to some keys that I'm that I'm placing on the keyboard. Okay. If by any uh, circumstance you have not been able to follow what I'm clicking, please pause the video, rewind and look at the keys that I'm placing on there. Okay, so let's go to our flat view mode and go to our wireframe mode and i think let's go to our vertex and let's just bring this down like so should be okay and let's go to our object mode and let's bring this down okay let's bring this down like so and let's bring it a little bit down like that and let's go to our vertex mode once again and then let's move this up let's move this up like so and and let's move this up like so yeah let's bring this up like so this should be okay for now uh, and okay this is, this is a good start i think this is a good start this is a good start okay um, so um we know that um we're going to create those exterior uh what do you call it those rough edges let me bring up Just disable what's that empty lead. 
yeah we're going to have this kind of uh, design there going on so we will need a lot of geometry for that so i think we're just going to add a subdivision modifier and then we apply it and then we'll do our edits from from there i think that won't hit that won't hit okay um okay so let's add our subdivision modifier to this piece oh i did this already five modifier sorry so i'll add the sub keep doing the same thing okay so the subdivision modifier is there then yeah it does its thing and it brings up this so we can increase our levels to two and let's go to our edit mode and control up so that we can add some loops so add a loop up there i think that's okay then we can also add a loop down here but because it is open okay so maybe just yeah because it is open down here so the subdivision modifier is failing to to, to make any rounding because there's nothing there's no angle that is being created because it's an open uh, space but for the top part they there was an angle so if i if i disable this yeah there is this angle here that is being made so the subdivision modifier is trying to smooth this out and that's why we have all those kinds of problems there okay so we are just going to uh, select the top face here so let's go to the face top face and then we're going to insert it just a little bit just a little bit like that and then we're going to extrude it just a little bit as well just a little bit okay and that should be that should be pretty good for now okay so let's go to our our edge mode and select select our our entire loop or that section and then we'll bring this down uh it's just gz we we'll bring this down because we want a round in there something like a round no, we don't want it to completely fall off and then let's go back to our face mode and then we can insert this again so that we can tighten up our subdivision okay tighten it up like that okay this that just looks, looks okay let's go back to our object mode okay so you'll see what we have we now have this kind of, uh, of shape there okay so now we want to create those details i was talking about okay so let's go to our face mode and uh, we want to have plenty of those uh, subdivisions so that, there's a number of ways that you can do this you can you can i think a by clicking a and then you can say subdivide uh we subdivide this should be subdivide this and subdivide here oh it's here subdivide okay so if you click on it yeah uh, you, you can see it has given us a number of uh, subdivisions there so you can see a number of cards it's one two so it is making uh, the subdivision heavier as you can see it made the subdivision again so there's too much geometry okay so i'll just undo that you can use that method if you want but uh, i'm not a fan i like to do, do this uh, okay so i have my model and then i'll just increase this to like three should be three should be okay okay at least go with four uh, three four three four three four two. okay let's go with three that's that should be okay and then let's go to our object mode okay Let's go back to object mode and then just apply this so it will make it uh complete geometry the modifier will be collapsed so let's go to our face mode and boom we have all this heavy 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 geometry going on over there okay so the first thing that i like to do is get rid of these uh horizontal lines so let's go to our line mode with uh or edge mode i mean yeah so then then we get to select what it is that is coding alt and alt plus plus shift and then um left clicking on the edge that you want to be selected so 
be you just select the edges that we, we want to get rid of okay let's do that let's shift Z. it that was control control Z. sorry okay so i think let's continue this like so and then we just hit x on the keyboard and dissolve edges okay then we just have got those over there which is good for us now which is really good for us and um yeah. what can we do okay we have a lot of geometry going on here so we are going to deselect some of the geometry that is on top here okay so let us change our cases our select box just click and hold this box and then go to our select circle and then we're now just going to start selecting these polygons this is in the face mode okay just select these polygons like so if you want yeah just like so and just like that and when you are done um, x and dissolve edges okay and you're going to have something like that um the next thing that we can do okay let's go back to our box select okay, and then hold holding or i think let's go to our face mode yeah face mode is okay then holding out we click then we're going to select the loop then out click out shift shift plus out and click it then we select loop another loop so another loop okay another loop another loop like that okay, let's try to select this and something like that then x on the keyboard and dissolve faces okay think wait like it dissolve edges yeah so edges works pretty well so if it's so dissolve these ones i think let me see yeah let me select what's going on let me select my edges go to my edge watch select my edge select my edge select these edges and x and dissolve them as well so we have got this one okay so we have got an issue already here on the dissolving so let's undo let's undo that and okay we're just going to go step by step so let's select let's select this select that select that select that and let's dissolve x x and dissolve edges okay so just dissolved the edges on top so let's select these let's go to our edge mode and select these edges and select these edges like that edge select that edge x and dissolve edges and also do the same that is a shift and dragging over the edge and x and dissolve let's go to this one x and dissolve edge okay i think we now have something kind to work with all right so we now want to create uh, uh what do you call it <laughs> i don't know what we call it but we now want to extrude some geometry from these faces out okay so just hold click just click on one or just hold holding out and clicking and then it selects the whole entire loop then come to your select and say check and deselect okay so the the blender algorithm is going to to deselect some some polygons sorry it's going to select some polygons and then we're going to go back to our area uh instruction that we we, we, we did okay uh, if you can remember it was we extrude you can say you can extrude along the most you can come over to extrude here and then click on it and then come to say extrude along domos okay and then when you drag okay and then when you when you press on this key you see it's going to extrude everything out along normals okay so 
if you want to do that action if you want to do that action miners having to press that button uh, you know you have to get into the habit of uh, getting to know the shortcuts okay so that was extrude let's extrude to bring this then cancel the operation with escape then hot s okay then we're now going to be able to extrude uh whether we want inner okay okay so i think i'm going to put my camera close where they can see my level of extrusion so i'm going to say extrude cancel or s and let me just see how far it goes i think something like that something like that is okay so while it's still selected while everything is still selected we can bevel this we can give them some rounding so that is control b and we can give them a little rounding and then let's clamp this bevel as you can see it's going over so if you place c on the keyboard it will make sure to clamp it will make sure to to bring in a limit okay as to how far it can be um beveled but our bevel is not working exact as you can see it's not working exact this is because we had scaled this object and our let me check our let's see our beautiful object orientation and uh what else do we have? I'm supposed to have my scale somewhere. Why I can't see scale? Mm. Okay, this is a little bit weird for me. Okay, so I had scaled this. I can't see my scale. It's supposed to be there. I can't see my scale. I can't see my rotation. I can't see my scale. So, what happened is. Uh, when I scaled this, when I scaled this, it changed the actual scale. I think coaching properties. Yeah, as you can see here on the properties, our scale, our scale changed when I made those adjustments. So it affected things like my bevels, those, those things have been affected. Okay, so uh, I think I'll go back. Okay, I'll undo everything, then I will go out of my edit mode and let me undo everything yeah up to this point so this is the, the importance of having an undo level which is about 256 because it will save your, your history and you can be able to go back okay so you can change your your scale okay you can change your scale put in one 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 there or click on the object and control a and then reset the scale and then it goes back to one one which means that everything is going to work uh, correctly now okay so let's go to our edit mode face mode they're still selected let's say select check and deselect so that we can have um a one one uh one face selected and then we're going to extrude this outer which is uh e for extrude cancel with escape then alt s to um, extrude to extrude out something like that then if we we do our bevel with control b and uh, our bevel is working much better if you look at the triangle it's totally different this time around so let's just clamp that with c and then we've got something like that but i don't want it to be clamped so i would i'm holding shift on the keyboard and then i will give it like a three segment bevel so it is going to be really heavy yeah so we have that kind of rounding going on there okay so let's go to our front view mode and let's bring up our yeah you see we'll put something like that but i don't like how long these um uh what do you call it whatever they are <laughs> I don't like how how long they are so i want to shrink them down so i will select this and hitting uh, slash on the keyboard and then i'll take it to my front view mode and i'll do my edits from here so we'll go to our wireframe mode really heavy. then go to my vertex should be 
ok and I will have to select some vertices ok and just bring this out of the screen ok so I will select like something like so we'll select these vertices and I'll bring this down like so it should work and I will also select those ones let's say Is that okay? Is that okay? Okay. Okay. I see. Alright, so I can just select this. I can select this like so and I will bring them up to like so. So let's go back to our object board. Let's go back to our storage game mode and yeah made that adjustment okay we've made that adjustment to it <sighs> okay so what's the next thing we can add a solidified modifier to this as well i think okay let's go to solidify the modifier and let us just bring this down we don't want it to go out we just want it to be inside so feel like so yeah just like that i think this is okay i think this is okay so if we hit slash bring back our model and let's add the solidify modifier to this as well solidify and uh, i think see this point zero point zero zero four so we can also put this point zero zero four Get it like that, and then we can bring this down. And it will be too hard it to be too separate from that one. Yeah. And then for this one, we can also give it a subdivision modifier. Let's give it a subdivision modifier. Subdivision modifier always doesn't have a lot of geometry to it. A subdivision modifier. Okay, it is okay. That is that is okay. That is okay. And this just increase it a little bit with some some edges some some, some loops sorry some loops crazy to to be like so okay okay so we now have our lead we have our lead holder and yeah it, that is okay that is okay for now it is really 